In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an SSL certificate for a domain name using Webmin and Virtual Min. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that the domain name is set up to uh, use an SSL. And you'll need to go into Create Virtual Server. Actually, I'm sorry, you need to go into Edit Virtual Server. And you'll just need to go in down here to uh, enable features and make sure that this box is checked first. If that box is checked, then, uh, then you should be good to go. Um, we'll also need to make sure that this server or this um, website uh, here on VirtualMin, they call them virtual servers, but you'll need to make sure that it's on its own IP address. Um, for SSL certificates, you need to have each site uh, on its own IP address. So I'm not going to follow through with all of this, but I'm, I'm going to show you how you would set it up. So once you uh, once you do have your your so let me let me back up a little bit. So there's two tabs here. There's the web min, the virtual min, and then so I'm on the virtual min tab, and then I've gone ahead and chose the domain name that I'm going to assign the um, the SSL to, and that's when I went in and I configured uh, made sure that it, it was selected to do that. So now let's go into server configuration, and now you should be able to see manage SSL certificate. If you didn't see that before, that was because that feature hadn't been enabled on this uh, server, so we need to do that. So you need to do that. Now we have done that. Now you can see it here. So you're going to manage SSL certificate. First thing you'll want to do is create a signed request. So you'll fill out this information. Uh, country code is only two letters. Uh, that's all it accepts. So you'd fill out all this information, and you'd hit uh, generate a CSR. When you generate the CSR, you'll then go to a company. I recommend SSLs.com. That's SSLS.com. Um, and they're fairly cheap. I mean, you can get like three year certificate for $15, which is great. Um, so, right here, one thing you want to do is it's automatically going to do that. We want to just go ahead and do Keggy, well, whatever your domain name is. Um, to do unlimited, I don't think that's possible, but it will allow you to do both of these. So you can't go and add a whole bunch of other subdomains and other domains and stuff like that. You can only do uh, do one. So um, so don't get carried away there. Most everything, the settings are fine. Like this is fine. This is fine on two. Uh, this is fine for default. And just fill out the other information. And then, uh, like I said, country code is just the regular, um, just for like the US, would be US. So that's all it is. You click generate CSR. Uh, that will give you a bunch of code or give you a big CSR, um, and you'll just copy that code. You'll go to you'll go to SSLs.com and you'll activate the site. And uh, once you activate it, then they will give you the rest of the stuff. They'll give you um, a certificate, and so you'll actually let's see you'll update, uh, create self-signed certificate. Oh, no, that's not the one. So once you once you add it, I think then it gives you the opportunity to update certificate and key. I believe is where you go, and you'll put that information in there. You'll also need to make sure you put in the CA certificate. If you have any trouble with SSLs.com, uh, if you have any trouble figuring out how this all works, just go to their their support and go to support ticket. And instead of clicking on to submit a ticket, somewhere on that page is a link that says um, do a live chat. They're really great at helping you out. Uh, they really can't help you with this here, but they're great at telling you, you know, what your cert what your CA certificate is. Uh, for example, you'll get in the email, you'll get a whole bunch of different certificates and uh, different different files, and some of them will be like three CA certificates, and those actually need to be combined together and put in. But um, and basically, you just copy and paste it all into here. And uh, anyway, that's really all there is to it. And once you do that and you click save and you go through that whole process, um, you'll be ready to go. And then you can just go test the site and see if the HTTPS colon slash slash whatever the domain name is works. And if it works, then you've done a good job. And if not, you can go to, I believe it's um, uh, like something like why no green lock. Let me just search for that. Uh, why no padlock? So you can go here and you can put in the domain name and or the URL. Click check and it'll tell you what's what's causing problems. Sometimes you just have an unsecure image on the page. So if you if you get it to work but then it's still giving you a little bit of an error, uh, maybe you just have an unsecure image on the page or you have an unsecure script on the page and that's why it's not uh, giving you the full green lock showing that it's actually working. So usually in the address bar of the um, the browser there's like a green lock or something to that effect depends on the browser 
And so if that's not working, then it could be one of those other issues.